Hey my YouTube friends, what we're dealing with today is a Toto toilet and the procedure we're going to do today is basically rebuild the toilet which would take care of any problem you're having with a Toto toilet whether it be phantom flushing, running on, uh, overflowing, overfilling the tank uh, even a, a often clogged toilet because if you're getting a weak flush which we're going to address today doing this also a weak flush will cause toilets to clog often so you got to plunge them all the time and this is going to address that situation too important thing with the totos is that you use actual toto replacement parts whether it's a, a authorized toto replacement part or an actual toto replacement part this is the fill valve and this is the flush valve and that's basically what we're going to replace them today so you can either call toto customer service they might warranty this stuff to you or you can go to any better home center or plumbing supply store and get these these toto parts although not actually manufactured by toto this is authorized toto stuff so toto company has authorized this other company to manufacture and distribute replacement parts on the back of the flapper package you'll find how many links on the chain to attach your clip to to get the proper length according to model number of, of your toilet but i will often just count the links on the old flapper or flush valve whatever you want to call it and just mimic that on the new one but if you're not sure you're going to always go to the chart there's two toto flappers there's the red one and the blue one it does make a difference so make sure you get the replacement for the red or blue this red toto flapper also replaces the old style toto flappers that look like this that you can't get anymore So we're going to use the existing supply line, but we want to loosen the supply line nut. And the reason we're using it is because it matches. It's like brushed, uh, brushed nickel, everything. So we're just going to drop the first nut down as the supply line nut. And there's one other nut up there in the same spot. This is upside down looking up, but that white nut there. Now we can take the fill valve out. Unclip from the overflow and just take the fill valve out. Toto is special. You gotta use all Toto parts, or at least designed for Toto. So this fill valve is made for Toto and uh, the flapper is authorized uh, Toto replacement. Your replacement fill valve. Go into the old one as reference. Using the, let's say these notches for reference. You got one, two, three, four, five showing before the top. So we want one, one, two, three, four, five showing. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And then And this is important to get the height, the height in the uh, in the bowl the same. And they give you this clip here that locks it in place. And just install that clip. Now the grommets are already here. We're just going to go in a parts bag and get the the nut for the bottom. And we're going to get the clip for the supply for the rim feed tube. And we're going to install this in the tank the same way we took the old one out. Go ahead and place it in there. Take the old nut, the old fill valve nut off the supply line and put your new fill valve nut on the flat part going up towards the tank. Slip your fill valve through and tighten up your fill valve nut. It's hand tight. It 
check your fill valves in a good orientation. Before I make it tight, I'm going to slip our rim feed hose on and then orient it more straight like that. Go underneath, tighten up your fill valve nut, and then come down and get your supply line nut. And again, tighten that up, hand tight. Back up to the top. I'm gonna take our flapper out. Unhook the chain and then unhook it from the ears. And you can see how decrepit this old one is compared to the new one. Before discarding this old one, count the links on the chain. Put the hook on the new one on the same links. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 23 lengths, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 23 lengths, put your clip, if you notice in the bottom the seat where the flapper sits, there's all this red, the rubber from the old one has disintegrated, just wipe that off or you won't get a good seal with your new one. Just use your fingers, don't use any bra a wire brush or anything like that because this is soft plastic and you'll just screw it up. Now, install your new Toto flapper or authorized replacement on the ears and then your chain after you've counted the links on the old one. Chain for the flush arm, check for operation. The rim feed tube, we have to push their little clip on there. And then attach it so that it squirts into that tube. That's what gives you your feed around the rim as you flush. Now we're gonna turn the water on and we're gonna check for leaks. And where we wanna check for leaks is here and we wanna check behind the knob. We wanna check at this union here, this compression fitting, and up under the bowl there. So we make it nice and dry so we can see if there's any leaks. There's a line marked on the overflow tube. You wanna make sure it comes up to that level. That's your rim feed. That's what feeds the water around the rim inside the bowl. Oh, that's very nice. And now we want to check that it indeed flushes when we hit the level. As you can see, that intermittent on off that we were experiencing before is gone because we replaced the fill valve and that was the problem. But we also replaced our flapper at the same time because it's always smart to do both. Very nice.